you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south, more specifically Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And I plan on heading up to Ober Gatlinburg today, but I wanted to check out just a couple little things here on, on the main drag uh, and see how they're going. Follow me. Just noticed the uh, dinosaur on top of Ripley's Moving Theater actually is moving. I haven't seen him move in years. Good job, buddy. Good to see you wiggling around. Can you give us a roar, maybe? A roar? There he goes. Here at Circus Golf, uh, we see that the characters have been given a little bit of a makeover. You see Blind Shot Barnaby there. He's got a, a fresh new suit standing there next to his ghoulish buddy in his new tuxedo. And the muscle guy, he's got some, some fresh new duds as well. The lady on the wheel, I think she's still wearing her cruddy old clothes. Here next to the shoot 'em up cinema, there used to be a shooting gallery, but it is transformed into the Red Rocket Retro Arcade. Got some pretty cool pinball machines. So, copy a punch out. I do need to come back here sometime when I can dedicate a little more time and play some of these games. All right, so we're heading up to the top of Ober Gatlinburg. And what this is, it is an amusement park kind of on top of a mountain here. You board a tram car here from the bottom area and it takes you all the way up to the top where there's all sorts of fun to be had. So follow me. Here's the building that we're currently in. Right there, we just went in through those doors. And back behind the building, you can see where the Sky car lifts off up above the trees. There's the sky car right there taking us all the way to the top of the mountain. Queuing up for the sky car. All right, now we board the sky car, which will take us up the terrifying lift to the top of the mountain. All right, how's everybody doing today? All right, my name's Donnie, and I'll be your operator going to the top. And it's going to bump a little coming out of the dock and swing some going over the towers. It's 2.1 miles up at 15 miles an hour, and we'll be there in about 10 minutes. I do hope you enjoyed the ride, and thank you very much for coming over to Gatlinburg. We do appreciate you. They are two of the most modern trams in America, each able to carry 120 passengers and an operator. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, does start around the end of this month. Inside <laughs> that gray house over there, that's called the cliff painter. That's because only six inches of that house is on solid ground, the rest is on stilts and beans. And it is rumored that the founder of Dunkin' Donuts had that built in the early 70s. That's a replica of the 1973 Barbie Dream House. And that was a few years ago, just like it was. It's the only one of its kind in the world. And you can rent that out if you go to chaletvillage.com to check out prices. Daniel. 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 Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh. And here we are, atop the mountain, over Gatlinburg. We have this dragon wearing a hat. Um, I don't know if we can fit in there, but see that it has some controls to it. Let's. Attention, parents. Please do not leave your child unattended. Oh, okay. Lighting the ride. Enjoy the ride, kids. All right. So. Oh. So it's, it rocks back and forth gently, and uh, looks like it has some commands here. Oh, these are all sound effects. It's a roar. Can you hear the roar? Fire. It looks like a fire button makes almost a horse noise. What are you doing here? I was 
actually goes on for quite some time. Oh, it stopped. It's like the snack stand is made out of an old sky car. Even though we've traveled quite a distance in a sky car, there's still more distance to be made as the ski lift will take us all the way to the tippy top. First rule of riding ski lifts, no scarves. They will rip you off the ski lift and strangle you to death. Watch your head, oh. Oh. Enjoy your ride. All right, we're on our cozy little ski lift right here. Oh, my feet just scraped the ground right there, but okay, here we go, lift off. This is the older ski lift here next to us. It's, I think it's only used to transport sleds back up to the top. I don't know if humans uh, ride this ever. You can see someone riding down the alpine slide right now. It's like a free flowing roller coaster type ride. been fascinated by by ski lifts how the mechanics work and how that tiny little piece of metal can support all this weight what are you trying to say what do you mean by all this weight I mean you know it's a good there's a, you there's and a, I there's combined. A, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's some hefty weight on that little tiny piece of metal right at the moment <laughs> I'm going to the left I'm going to the right okay oh go to your right <laughs> It almost scooped me up and took me back down the mountain. All right, we are at the top of Mount Harrison, elevation 3,590 feet. It's a little bit overcast today, so you can't quite make out the mountains in much detail. This is actually a colorblind viewer for people who are colorblind. Apparently it uh, separates the effect of colorblindness so that people can enjoy uh, the mountain views. Up at the top of the mountain, you get treated to a little bit of bluegrass. Well, the first thing you know, old Jed's a millionaire. Ken folks said, Jed, change your underwear. Said, California is that place you ought to be. So they loaded up that truck in the boot, Beverly. Get quite the view coming down from the ski lift. You can kind of almost see to the streets of Gatlinburg down there. Now this is normally, this is the, now this is the platform where you could get off to um, ride the Alpine slide. Unfortunately, you can't get off coming down, you have to get off coming up, so we have to go all the way back down and then get back on and ride halfway back up. Do it. Oh, sorry. Hopping back on. You lift a second go round so that we can plummet down the mountain on sleds. Plummeting down the mountain. Stop. Oh, we're stopped. That, that worked well. All right. And go ahead. All right, you can go ahead. Thank you. All right, we got to go over here and get our sled. There we go, what a beaut. All right, crammed into this little yellow sled. This is our brake, makes us go forward or slows us down. That's the brake. That's the brake. Yeah, already right, scans. All right, all right, go in. I think I left Adam in my dust. Was oh, he coming? Is he coming up on me? to be operating something like this.
Oh wait, I can still beat him. I can still beat him. Keep it going. There's no, 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 no. All right, now we got to get off the track real quick before someone hits us from behind. Oh God. Oh, Ooh. that almost hit me. Now, first rule of Alpine Slide Club: Do not touch the track with your hands. Now, this is a rule I probably could have figured out on my own, but some people need a little extra advisement. And this maze up here that people can uh, try to beat. You can see the humans running around in there trying to uh, trying to save their own lives. All right. Punch in the clock. We're on the time. And how crunch. much time do we have? Eight minutes. Eight do minutes. That. All right. Oh, dead end. Dead end. Dead end. Oh, it's a complete dead end. We're doomed. Wait, what about this? What about this? I feel like we're going this way. I don't know which way we should be. This is a... I think we came in. This is the this way we came in. Okay. This way. This way. This way. We gotta hurry though. We gotta hurry. Clock is ticking. Oh, got a little fork in the road here. Should we go? Which one should we go, right or left? I don't know, what's in? Wait, wait, what's in? Here. We haven't found one letter yet. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, now we're at another crossroad, because that's an emergency exit. Is this an emergency? Just realize we're not very good at this. We, are, we have not gotten one item. Okay, wait, I have a good feeling. I have a good feeling. I have a, right here, right here. What is right it, right what here. is it, what an is M. it? An M. The M. Yeah. yeah, help us out. Where's the rest of the letters? We got in so far. There's another one on this, on this side. Oh. On this side? Here. On the stairs somewhere. Oh, A's up there? Yep. Yeah, and then J's up there. Have you found an M? You got an M, yeah. Oh, I need an M. Jim's all the way back over there in that corner. Oh, There's an overlook. Can we maybe come up here and... I don't know. I don't see anything. Oh no, I've been separated from Adam. I need an adult. Not, not as easy as it looks. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there's the A up there on that platform. All right, we've got the M. We just need the A, Z, E. Total dead end. Dang it. We should be sprinkling breadcrumbs so we, we know be. where we've already Reese's been. Pieces. There's the A up here. Yes. I'm gonna punch our A. Oh, I got a good feeling about this one. There's gonna be a dead end. So we've run into so many dead ends, I'm starting to wonder if there even is an exit. Oh, it's really? All, it's a like clever ploy to keep us out in the sun and the elements. <laughs> it feels like we're in a it's episode of the sodas. Episode of the Twilight Zone or something. No, I'm gonna drink a beverage after this, so it's a good market. Ah, they get you with the oh, beverages. Another dead end. I have a good feeling about, oh, there's, yep, there's the Z, the Z. So this is the exit, but uh, there's no E. We still need to traverse back into the maze hey, remember find the, the E. That the exit's going to be there. Guess what, Jake? What, what, what? E. E. Oh, that's the final pub. Okay, we already found the exit once, so. I think, I think it was like a ploy. I go this way. That's the thing about mazes. Are we trying to trick you? Okay. Could this be our way out? Could this be our path to freedom? I or it could be another I stupid dead end. The sun. the sun has been beating down upon me for probably, what, 25 minutes or so? All right, all right, I remember. Now, this is the exit. You gotta hurry. Hopefully we've made it in under eight minutes. Finally, this is the out. All right, the finishing clock. Yes. Yes! Woo. We were in there 19 minutes, so double double the time needed to win one of these amazing prizes here. What's I that? feel I feel Can I like get a drink now. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Drink it, please. <laughs> I feel like our performance here was not amazing. Not amaze. Wham, wham. All right, so we get something to drink. Wham. Here we have Zeke's Shack, a moonshine-themed shooting gallery. So uh, let's uh, let's let's fire a few rounds. There we go, there's Jed. 
Right, this is really hard for some reason. I'm having a hard time getting the getting the things to react. Oh, that was a disappointing performance. Ice boats here. See them ramming into each other very gradually and deliberately. Heading upstairs to their arcade area. It says, welcome to the other dimension. This arcade has some pretty old school machines. Here's a giant shoe that is also a basketball hoop, but this is a game for children under the age of 10 only. Your height advantage as an adult gives you too much of an advantage. Oh, and here he is, my old nemesis. The arm wrestling machine. Oh my gosh, his intimidating face. Last time he not only beat me, but he injured my arm. Right, we don't want to get hurt, so we don't want Superman or Strong or even Normal. We're gonna go with boy level. Boy level strength. Quarter hand. Boy level. Oh, I'm winning! I'm winning! I'm winning! <laughs> You always gotta be careful about arcade games that actually have a warning that they will injure you. You're a monster, sir. It's a twister game. You put quarters in it and you try to hit all the little tornadoes with your quarter as it twirls downward. Oh, is it gonna hit? Oh, hit. Yay, tickets! Ooh! Keep it coming, keep it coming. I haven't won one of these claw machines in a very, very long time, but I think I'm due. Rabbit's too far. Look at this blue duck. Let's go for it. Blue duck and out. I missed the blue duck completely, and I grabbed a big handful of nothing. All right, let's play the clown roll down. Almost. Okay, I got one, one more ball to play. We're gonna roll it right down the middle. No, we're not. Oh wait, here they come. Yes. All right, here we have a bowling simulator. Put our quarter in. There's our ball. And what do we do? Just, just roll it up there. Just blast it. Did I? I have no idea how this game works, but I am awarded no tickets. Okay, okay, now I understand. You can't hit the end, you gotta get it right in the little groove in the middle. So we're gonna try again. All right, so we just gotta give it just a little nudge, get it over the hill without hitting the other side. Dang it! So just a little more oomph to it. Too much oomph. Too much oomph. The sidewinder, I guess you had to steer a ball to the end. Where's my ball? Oh, there we go. Oh, I dropped it. I dropped it over the edge. I didn't even. I wasn't able to make it in there with my hand. I'm such a loser. Try again. All right, this time, I'm gonna make sure it actually in the snake. You got this. And then. You got this. Oh, this is too hard. I can't. You got this, Jacob. Precision. Oh! So difficult. You're asking me what, what that is supposed to be? Yeah. Well, it's got an elephant's trunk, okay. um, and it's got a chicken's tail, and yeah, I don't know. Leave in the comment, comment section. If you're a zoologist, tell me what that is. But either way, let's, let's take him for a spin. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. Yeah, what is on earth that he's like wearing a Donald Duck hat as well. I see the two horses, those make sense, but... Why am I so bad at everything? Oh, that was, that was pretty good. Ah! Alright, I have 35 tickets. Right. Let's see 
what treasures I have won. All right, it looks like my only real choice is I get one of these farm animals or one of these dinosaurs. We have the scientific ticket counter here. Thirty-five. Which one? What color do you want? Uh, let me see. What do we got here? Uh, let's take. Uh, we'll take this guy right here. Okay. All right. Take your pick. Um. Hmm. 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 Put chicken in there? Yeah. Is there I chicken? Guess. Put chicken. I in think. There. Yeah. I think we'll go with the chicken. The chicken. I like the chicken. All yeah. right. Have some more old school coin-operated machines that you can ride. Oh, look at that old horse. We have Tom and Jerry. You know, normally they were trying to kill each other in the cartoon, but here they're, they become buddies, and he's in his, Jerry's in the little sidecar there. How you doing there, dirty old bear? Here's some good rules to live by. Do not feed the bears. Do not drop or throw anything at the bears. Do not taunt, whistle, clap, or yell, or spit at the bears. Who spits at a bear, really? Oh, also no smoking. You don't, don't need to get, you don't need bear cancer. What, is this poison ivy? Yeah, you just suck your hand in poison ivy. There's a bear pit down here. And they did note that these bears are injured and uh, non-releasable into the wild. All right, we're awaiting the otter feeding over here. This should be good. Oh, I just noticed there's a sleepy little otter poking out his tiny little otter head. All right, here's the zookeeper. He's got a bucket of fish. We're going to follow him. Oh, the otters are getting excited. They're swimming around in their backs. Oh, there's the food. Go get it, Mr. Otter. Oh, Cujo. Cujo. Oh, there's another otter right there. He was, he was staying behind. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, he knows how to stand up, like a people. Just took a little dip in that pool. Got a side. No, no, not the bees. Not the bees, no. In my eyes. And remember kids, it's always important to be yourself. Looks like the tram is a little more full than it was on the way up. Crazy good view up here. Alright, going through the slingshot tower. Tower number five, our college tower in elevation. Please don't pull on those traps too hard. Those do deploy the parachutes in case we do drop from these lines. <laughs> You can see the hotel up there on the very top of the hill, still closed down because of the fire. You can see the sky bridge over there. Little tiny people walking in there. Walk down this ramp here, you can see the inner workings of the tram car. You can see the giant gears there, raising the tram up the mountain. All right, thank you for joining us here today at Ober Gatlinburg, this old timey amusement park uh, built on top of a mountain here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. You take the sky tram over the mountain, then you take the ski lift up to the tippy top of the mountain. You have a good time here at, here at Ober? I had a great time. It's always, always fun. Always it's fun always to stop by. I don't know what I like better, the tram up to the top or the sky lift to the other top. There's two tops. Yes. 
Oh, no, four tops. Four tops? But there's two tops when it comes to this. Four tops. Never mind. The four tops. <laughs> You're being very confusing. I'm gonna go. All right, thank you for stopping by, Adam. Appreciate you guys watching. If you'd like to see other places I've been, please check the interactive map in the description. If you'd like to help support the channel, consider buying a t-shirt. Consider donating to Patreon. A $3 or more donation will get you a postcard once a month. But for now, this one's in the bag.